What is going on guys? Tommy from Fight Camp here and in this video we're going to be breaking down a step-by-step -step guide into the proper boxing stance. Now this video is for you if you're new to boxing, you're trying to learn how to box from home, or you're just trying to work on your current boxing stance. Before you get started, let me know in the comments section below what is motivating you to start learning how to box. What are some of the tips that you guys are looking for? Alright guys, so let's get into this. The first thing that you need to do is decide which hand you're going to be leading. Now, if you're a right-handed person, you're going to stand in what's called the orthodox stance where you lead with your left hand. That will be your lead hand. If you're left-handed, you'll actually lead with your right hand. That's called the southpaw stance. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to stand in an orthodox stance with my left hand leading. Now, if you see what I have here on the floor, I have a straight line that's going to help me really set up how to plant my feet in the boxing stance. This straight line is an essential learning tool for beginners and I really suggest that everybody leverage this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our lead foot and we're going to take the toe of our lead foot and put it directly on that line. From there, we're going to take our back foot, we're going to take the heel part of our back foot and we're going to put the heel part on that line just like that with about this much space in between each foot. Both feet you're going to have facing in the same exact direction. They're going to be parallel to each other at a 45 degree angle, like a pair of train tracks, just like that. You're going to want to sit down a tiny bit in your stance, and obviously, you're going to want to put your hands up just like this. All right, the next step for you guys is when you're in your neutral boxing stance, you want to make sure that your weight is evenly distributed on both legs. That means an equal amount of weight when you're in this neutral stance on your rear leg and your lead leg. Now in boxing, when you throw punches, it's all about the way that you distribute your weight. So when you start from that neutral stance, and let's say that you throw a hand from the rear side, a punch from the rear side. So let's throw a right cross now, and I'll show you what I mean. I throw that right cross, and I distribute that weight from my rear leg to my lead leg. Now, I have all of this weight here on my lead leg, and I'm going to throw a lead hook. Now I'm going to take all this weight, and I'm going to distribute it back onto my rear leg. We'll get into that a bit later. And then finally, I want you to make sure that your shoulder is pointed towards your opponent or towards the bag. A common mistake that I see when people first start learning these stances is that they stand really squared up like this. And you want to avoid that both because it opens you up defensively and because it makes it so that your weight sort of is cheating more to your lead leg. So it's going to rob you of power on your punches. So we're in our stance with our weight evenly distributed. We're not square. We have our shoulder pointed towards our opponent or towards the bag. Now from there, I want you to make sure that your hands are up just like this and that your elbows are in, not out like this, in very tight to your body. And you know, I don't want you to be super jumpy up on your feet, bouncing around. I think a lot of people see that on TV or movies. That's a mistake. I want you to remain nice and relaxed with that weight evenly distributed. And when you're in close on the bag or on your opponent, you're going to be in what we call a short range stance. That means your hands are up really close, protecting your face and protecting your body. But when you take a little distance, you take a little step back from that bag or from your opponent, you can get into a little bit more of what we call a long range stance where you just keep your rear hand up, your rear elbow in, and your lead hand can be cheating out a little bit so that you can reach that bag with a jab. Now, a common mistake that I see beginners make when they're first you know, learning the stance, practicing the stance, is they'll try to mimic things that they see on TV and in movies. So maybe you watch Creed and you see the guy dropping his hands like Roy Jones Jr. or maybe you're a big fan of you know, Floyd Mayweather and you see him standing like this. So what you have to understand about that is that when you're watching pro boxers on TV, these are experts, and when you're watching movies, these are movies. When you're first learning how to stand properly in boxing, I want you to focus on the very fundamentally sound hands up stance just like this. And as you progress, as you add to your skill set, if you want to experiment with some you know, more advanced stances, then we can get into that then. All right, so let's review the proper step-by-step -step guide to the boxing stance. So if you're right-handed, you're going to lead from what is called an orthodox stance where your lead leg and your lead hand face your target. If you're left-handed, you'll flip that around and your right leg and your right arm will face that target. Again, we're gonna do this in the orthodox stance. So the proper training tool that I like to use is a line, a very straight line on the floor where I take my left or my lead toe and I put it on that line. Then I take my rear heel and I put it on that line just like that. 
both of my feet are going to point in the same exact direction. They're going to be parallel like a set of train tracks. Okay, so my hands are up, my elbows are in, I'm nice and relaxed, I'm not jumpy, and that's the proper boxing stance. Now remember, you're not going to nail this on day one. The key is that you take your time, you practice very slow and deliberate repetition with these movements, and really th these things are going to take a long time for you to master, so be patient. Alright, so we make new videos like this every single week. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can be one of the first to know when we upload new content. I'll see you in the next video.